guys, welcome back to part two of To Do Today. How's it going? Has it been? Oh my goodness. I feel like I haven't played this game in a while, but in fact, I played it like, what was it, yesterday? Oh my goodness. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was the day before. I don't remember. We're gonna load. What would I... Oh yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday morning. At When I recorded it at 12 in the morning. But today, I'm recording it at 10 a.m., so no voice. Good morning, Kaimi. Good morning, Joyce. This is so weird. How are you feeling on this beautiful Tuesday? Fine? I'm fine, I guess. That's good, but I'll do my best to turn this fine into something even better. It would be even more weirder if it was Tuesday, like IRL, instead of just in the game. I bought my mic. In a way, I envy this enthusiasm of yours. I can teach you if you want. That's not exactly what I meant, but thanks, I suppose. But socialize but socializing aside, you made plans to work in that bookstore today. Yes, I know, thanks. You're welcome, but I'm just reminding you so you can start getting ready. It is almost 8 a.m. after all. Oh shit, you're right. Need to hurry. If you need anything else, I'll be waiting here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess I'm going to the bookstore. Well, let's get to work. Oh yeah, it's for my extra shift today. Kami, I'm glad you can make it on such short notice. Sure, I appreciate the opportunity. I'll just add this to your weekly paycheck, okay? Thanks, that would be great. Alright, I'll leave the shop to you then. Sure. Well, let's hope today won't be weirder than usual. Hello, I'm looking for a book. You're at the right place then. Hello, are you looking for anything specific? Yes, but I don't know the title. Okay, do you know what it is about? Maybe we can find it that way. Well, it's about this guy and he was overcome hardships to fight evil and save the world. Do you know any other specifics, maybe unique, to this particular book? I don't know. I haven't read it yet, so I can't tell. But you know the genre, right? I think it has magic. He can levitate, I think. Ah, so it's fantasy. But I also think it takes place in the future? So sci-fi? Maybe I should just recommend her something. Okay, how about this one? Oh shit. Um, Sci-fi, I think? There isn't any magic in this one, but I'd be surprised if the protagonist ever had to actually touch the ground. Hmm, you're right. It looks like everything on the cover is levitating. And that space pilot is fighting against evil, I take. Most definitely. What would he fight against otherwise? Okay, I'll take it. Alright, that'll be $9.99. Thanks for your patronage. Please come again. Aww. Somehow I feel like I could have sold her practically anything as long as it had levitating in it. Probably. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Can I help you with something or are you just looking around? I'm actually looking for something. Alright, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a book about movement. Movement. Yes, for animation, actually. Ah, so you're an animator. I animate, yes. But I'm not quite following what kind of movement are you looking for in a book. Humans, actually. Hmm, we have books about human anatomy, but I don't think there's anything like movement studies in them. Wouldn't videos be more helpful? Yes, but I watched them already. All of them? All the good ones. Oh, I didn't read the rest of it. Okay, I don't think we have what you're looking for. Really? That's too bad. The only thing coming close would be a book called Edward Moy Bridge. But that is not exclusively about humans. Hmm, that's no good. The photos are bad. But he was a renowned photographer. Yes, but I've seen better ones online, actually. Alright, sorry, but this is all I can offer. If you don't want it, you probably have to look elsewhere. But I actually already checked every other bookstore in town. Would you really recommend it so much? No, because it's not really about animation. Yes, I don't know much about animation, but I believe this is a helpful guide. Hmm, I think... No, I actually won't take it after all. Okay, well, if that's all, I'm afraid I can't help you out any further. Please come again. Aw, oh, damn. Another stress. Or don't, actually. Shit, it's contagious. 
Jeez, that was exhausting. Boss, I'll take my break now. Usually I just go to the staff room during my break, but I don't really feel like it today. Huh. Oh, hey, Snow. Not reading for once? Nah, even I need to do something else occasionally. So what are you doing? Writing. Another one of your short stories? You haven't updated your blog in forever. I was wondering when the next one was going to come out. Ah, uh, sorry, this is for something else. But I already wrote an outline for the next short story. I might get to it once I'm done with this. Oh. Awesome. They've been getting better, so it was a shame that the update suddenly stopped. Thanks, and sorry. So what are you writing now? Ah, uh, um, it's basically a one-shot of a bigger project I'd like to write. To see if it works and so on. Can I read it? No. I mean, it's not done yet. Ah, uh, okay. What's it about? It's a time travel drama about loss and growing up. Still writing about the heavy stuff, huh? Well, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to reading it someday, but my break is almost over. Have fun writing, Snow. Thanks. That was a short break. Woke up bee. The rest of the day was more or less as usual. The work itself is tiring already, but the, but the whole Joyce business didn't make it easier to stay calm. Part of me just wanted to stay at the bookstore, but eventually my shift was over. Well, I had to face this situation sooner or later anyway. Let's just get this over with. Write the report and get that money. Oh. Welcome back, Kaimi. Did you have a good day at work? It, um, was alright. I've had worse days. Well, it's good to stay positive. Do you have any plans for the rest of the day? No, not really, actually. Mind if we talk for a bit? I suppose you won't be happy if I decline. It's still your choice, but yes. Alright, then let's just talk. Great! So, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Don't you already have a lot of information on me? Yes, but that's all so impersonal. Okay then, what do you want to know? Are you happy with your life? You really don't beat around the bush. Sorry, was this insensitive? Yes, sort of. To answer your question though, I don't know. I'm not exactly unhappy, but this isn't what I imagined my life to be either. How did you imagine it then? Well, I went to art school because I thought I'd be I'd enjoy being an artist. And it was nice, but at, at the same time, I felt like I didn't really fit in. It was pretty it was a pretty draining experience in multiple ways, so ultimately I dropped out and moved into this apartment. But you still want to be an artist. I don't know. Most of the time I think so, yes. But almost every time I try to get back on track, I wonder if I'm really fit for it. If I'd really be able to handle it. How so? Well, I'd say I'm a decent artist. I can improve in many ways. Still, but I did mourn quite a bit already. It's just that I usually feel like other people want it more. Almost every time I see another artist, it seems like they are... A lot more passionate than I am. I enjoy it, yes, but art is not everything I want from life. I don't think I'd be happy dedicating my all to it. So I just wonder if I can compete against those who do. Would you be happy just doing it as a hobby then? I've tried, but if there's no pressure at all, I just don't even start walking. Maybe I'm lacking motivation. So you need some stakes to get started, but aren't sure if you would last if pitted against others? I guess. Hmm. What would be your ideal scenario, if I may ask? Dunno. Ideally, I would work at some company or project I'm passionate about. I think I could handle the stress without within a team, but the process of getting there is what scares me. I just don't know if any company would really choose me, so I never tried risking anything. So your worst case scenario is rejection? Sort of. I'm more worried about the consequences of rejection since I can barely afford this place even with a job. Hmm, I don't want to pry too much, but I certainly see your worries now. Still, if those worries are greater than your desire to work as an artist, then maybe it really isn't for you. Uh, wait. Somehow this sentence really irritates me. Oh? So you do want to try. I... maybe? 
it's just, I'd have to sit down and work a lot before I can even try anything. And I guess I've been lacking the discipline to do so. Maybe a goal, too? Why don't you just set a goal for yourself? Because, actually, that's not even that bad of an idea. What do I have to lose? The situation can't get much worse now. Okay, we don't need to keep talking about this if you don't want to. But if you feel like thinking some more about it, I'd be happy to help you out. I guess. Still, I didn't mean to kill the mood. It's fine. I mean, getting me to think about all, the, all of this is basically what you are here for, isn't it? Yes, but there's no point if it upsets you as well. I hate to break it to you, but there is no way you can solve someone's problems without touching, an un touching on unpleasant things first. If you say so. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Yes, there is. I'd be interesting. I'd be interested in how you usually spend your evenings. Oh boy. I play video games. I mean, that's what I do. Well, in the evenings, I walk. And in the mornings, I play video games. I play video games occasionally. Okay, more than occasionally, actually. Ooh, what do you play? It's an MMORPG that I've been playing since I was in high school. What class do you play? In our guild, I'm mostly a healer, but I can deal some damage if I have to. On my own, I use a different set of equipment though, so I'm more like a rogue in that class. In that case. Do you like playing a support role? I guess? I mean, I mostly started because back when our guild was smaller, we really needed some healers. But it grew on me, and I guess I like the position now. It, I'd be interested to see that sometime. Sure, I guess it'll happen eventually. Would you mind showing me now? Yesterday ended kind of abruptly, so I'd love to see how a regular evening looks for you. Well, it might be boring for you, but I think I'll... Let's play video games. Playing video games actually sounds pretty good right now. Hey, Joy! If you're okay with watching, I could show you on my guild and I usually do. That sounds good. Okay, I'll just start up the game and... Ugh, updates. I'm afraid we'll have to sit through this. Hey, what's that? What? Here, in the news section. It's an art competition. Okay, I know we just talked about this, but... Don't you want to take part? It seems like there's... Even a quite respectable prize to be won. What? A thousand? And potentially a position at Naughty Cat Studios. Holy shit! Do you want to take part? I... I'll think about it. But the timing does seem too good to be true. It certainly solves a good motivation, doesn't it? Y yes How did I not notice this before? I guess that's what I get for ignoring the news out of habit. Oh look, the game is ready. Username. Is is Oh, oh, Kaimi. Wrong password! Oh shit, what's my password? Wrong password! We said password! I guess so, it's just been a day! No, no, no. There we go. Oh, wait! No, go back! Wrong password. Don't turn much online, Kami. Oh! I thought it had me change my username for a second. Kami has entered the chat. Kami! Where have you been? Hey, good to see you again. We were just talking about you. Hey, X. Wait, what are we talking about? It's a secret. We were actually just wondering if you'd show up again. And you did. Aw, how sweet. I didn't know you'd miss me so much. It's not like that. I mean, sort of, I guess, but... <laughs> oh, boy. You're my bro, that's all. Okay. I've been wondering for a while now. Given your interests, how does being so ironically straight work, Suj? BL is pure, okay? Also, that's just fiction. Don't you love it when two fictional guys fall in love? <sighs> it's not that I can't appreciate it for what it is. I'm just confused by your oddly specific fixation on it. And how it barely fits the rest of your character. I'm complex, you know. Sure, sure. Help me, guy me. Anyway, I'm happy to be back again, too. Anything planned for tonight? Yes! We want to fight the boss at launch last week. Which is why we were wondering if you'd show up. It's easier with more people. Cool, I'm in. Sweet. Anyone else coming with us? Yep. 
da 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 and da 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 will join us. The Sits isn't here today, but we should manage. Let's slay that thing. Yo, don't take my loot this time, Suj. It was an accident. That is a very long just digit. Then why are you still wearing those shoes? Guys, hell. You weep what you sow, Suj. I'm enjoying the show. Sorry, Suj. No! Don't abandon me! I'm sorry! Whatever. Let's get going. <laughs> and so we did. At first, it was... Oh! Pro Gamer 2 out of 4. At first, it was weird playing the game knowing that Joyce was watching the whole time. But along the way, I forgot and it was just as usual. We actually talked about the game a bit after I logged out. And the competition, of course. Although, to be honest, Joyce was mostly interested in who I was playing with. Guess what real interest is humans after all? It's still pretty strange. But if it continues at this way, I'll be accustomed to it faster than I'd like. Well, I guess that's okay. Better than constantly being weirded out for the rest of the month. Oh. March 8th, Wednesday morning. Good morning, Kaimi. Did you sleep well? Mostly. But could you please not wake me up this early in the morning? Is this still too early, but it's almost noon? Yes, and it's also my day off. Alright, from now on, you can tell me when or if you want me to wake you up. Thanks. Although I suppose it's not too bad to have a little bit a little more of the day. Certainly. Doesn't change the fact that I'm still tired though. Do you have any plans for the day? No, not really. Why don't we continue where we left off yesterday then? Oh, do you want to play the game again? Ah, no, I was actually talking about your aspirations to be an artist. We could devise a plan on how to proceed with that. I mean, there's a competition for one. That certainly changes a lot, doesn't it? Man, I fucking love having Joyce with me. Like, look at her. She's so pretty and pastel-like. Oh, um, yeah, we can do that. But I think I'll wait until after I've had breakfast. Oh yeah, breakfast, breakfast good. I took my time. It was unusual for me to be awake so early. Two days in a row, even. Well, before too long, I was eating breakfast. And once I was done, Joyce rekindled our conversation. Oh. So, are you ready to talk about your future? I guess. Great, then let's devise a plan. I think that competition is a really great chance. It's limited in time, it has a reward, and you can see how you compare to other artists. It could potentially so resolve some, if not all of your insecurities about the matter. Even if that were the case, this is still risky. I'd have to put a lot of time and effort into the competition if I even want to have a chance, and then I really have to win. And what is the problem with that? The way I see it, you have trouble fully committing to something because you are afraid of failure. But in this case, not committing to it would be the main source of failure. I suppose... But just keep at it and I'm sure it will work out. Alright, I'll think about it. Sure, do that. But if you don't have any other plans for today, why don't you give it a try already? I could start tomorrow. But will you really? Probably not. See, starting today is the way to go. <sighs> okay, let's start then. I mean, that competition does sound intriguing. That's the spirit. I only have basic knowledge of art, but if you want my opinion, just ask away. I'll keep it in mind. Okay then. Where did I put my tablet pen? Let's see. Is it normal to leave the canvas blank for so long? Yes, I'm thinking. Oh, do you want me to help? I read brainstorming is more effective in multiple people. I guess? Well, it has to be related to the game in some way. But I don't think just drawing one of the story characters would be exciting. So I thought about making something with my own Titan Watch Online character. I mean, I may be biased, but I'm really happy about with how they look. Oh, good thinking. But isn't just the character a little boring? Well, with good comp composition and nice pose, it'll work out, I think. And background would be nicer. And maybe an additional character, but there's probably not enough time for anything super detailed. I guess I can at least start sketching the character and figure out the pose and composition. Your character's a healer, right? Mostly. I mean, with this game, you don't really have classes. It's mostly about the skills and equipment you choose. Mine's tailored towards healing, though. Well, and silent but effect efficient killing if I have to. Wow, such duality. 
Isn't that pretty interesting to draw? I suppose. I'm not sure if you can really show both at the same time, though. But maybe it would work if I had to have a rather melancholic scene where it's not quite clear if healing or killing is the focus. I mean, either way, it's in some way connected to death. So do you have an idea now? So he... So, so he ends people's lives and also brings them back. Oh, I just bopped my mic again. I need to stop bopping my mic. You guys are gonna get really offended and just smack my mic constantly. So, do you have an idea now? I think so, yes. Thanks, this actually helped. My pleasure. I'm excited to see what you will draw. Alright, let's start sketching then. Oh, I wanna know what I'm drawing, because like, I suck at drawing IRL. It was already afternoon by the time I stopped walking. I already finished a rough sketch, but it felt... It still felt good to have produced something. Oh. Although in the end, it all comes down to how I iterate on it from this point on. Anyway, I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast, so once I stopped concentrating on what I was doing, I noticed my hunger. I briefly ate lunch, although there wasn't much to choose from. And when I went back to my computer, I found Joyce waiting for me, just as I've come to expect since she appeared on Monday. Ooh. Time show flies, doesn't it, Kaimi? Did you have fun working on art today? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've drawn so much in a single day. It was nice. And I'm kind of excited about this idea now. That's good to hear. Does it ease your worries? I don't know. There's still the financial issue. How much money do you need exactly? In order to not get evicted, 700. I own 540 with my part-time job, and you I usually spend around 120 for food and everything. So I'll need at least 280 extra. Well, 180 extra if you count the money I get from for this test program. Hmm, how much do you earn per day at the bookstore? 60, so three extra days will cut it. Then why are you so worried? I'm sure you'll be able to fit in three extra days. Hmm, maybe you're right. But with the competition and everything, it's kind of hard to plan my days. There's only a week left and I'll have to spend a lot more time drawing if I want this to be good. It'll be fine. We'll work it out somehow. Me? Is that not in your interest? I thought you might appreciate some support, but if you don't... I appreciate it. I'll, I appreciate it. Thank you, Choice. No, I do appreciate it. But it seemed a little fast for you to get so invested in my problems. Well, that's what I'm here for, after all. Right. You're an AI with a specific purpose, as you put it. Guess that slipped my mind for a second. You forgot? Really? Is that bad? No, on the contrary. It's great if you don't just see me as an AI. This makes me really happy. Aw, trust. But I really don't think you should obsess over these problems right now. The month has only just begun, so I'm sure you'll make it. Thanks. So, should I just relax for the rest of today? Sure, you already did something productive. So what do you want to do? Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm, not sure. I'm not feeling up for anything particular right now. Or is there anything you want to do? Wait, why am I suddenly considering her in my afternoon plans? Hmm, I don't think you've mentioned it to me before, but I believe I read that you are reading a comic? I'd like to see what it is about. Alright. Not at all creepy that Joyce knows practically everything about me. Oh, what am I reading? I want to know what I'm reading. And so he started reading the comic. It was nice. Maybe it's not correct to call it spending time together, but in a way, that's what we were doing. It's just nice to share this with someone who likes it as well. Either way, we were reading chapter after chapter until we ha had enough. We kept talking about it afterwards. It seems like Joyce likes the characters too. That's a first for me, actually. Talking to someone who shares a similar enthusiasm for this, I mean. Sure, there's online, but to be honest, I never really talked with people there. Not on this level, at least. Before too long, it was evening. I ate dinner, browsed social media, and the likes for a bit, and ultimately went to bed. It's strange, really. Do you think I'm getting used to this? At the very least, it's starting to feel normal. Is that too fast? I don't know. But for the moment, I don't really care. Aww. It's trust. March 9th, Thursday morning. Oh, it's a work day. If it weren't for my part-time job, I'd barely leave the house. Anyway, let's go inside. I don't want to be late. Oh my god. 
Blow, same. If it weren't for like having a job and having to leave my house to go to said job, I just wouldn't leave my house, period. All my shopping, got it. Kami, I have good news. Starting today, we'll have a new part-timer. This will make scheduling a lot easier. Oh, really? I just hope I'll still get some... Still get to work some extra days. Yes, I'll introduce you two real quick. Phoenix, come here for a second, dear. Oh, this is Phoenix. She moved here recently to look for work. So in the meantime, she decided to start as a part-timer. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. I still haven't finished taking stock yet. I couldn't get Snow to help me after all. Ah, this is such a pain. Kami, sweetie, could you show Phoenix the basics of your work here? I hate to burden you with additional tasks, but I really can't spare the time right now. Teaching the new one, huh? Sure. Yeah, sure. I guess I'm the part-timer who's lasted longest after all. Thank you. I think Phoenix here is a fast learner, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Thanks. Well, I'll leave the shop to you then, Kaimi. Ooh. I really don't like being watched by others. Still. I thought I already had a hard time around people, but Phoenix is so quiet. Um, how long have you been working here, Kaimi? Or not? Around two years, I think. I started when I was still going to university and somehow haven't stopped since. Ah, then I'll make sure to watch closely how you're working. So she wouldn't... So she wouldn't if I was a newbie myself? Although I suppose I would still do that if you had less experience. I'll just stop assuming things. Alright, looks like our first customer arrived. Welcome to Cardover Books. How can I help you? Oh, um, I'm just looking around. Alright, just... Tell me if you need any help with any way. Having someone absorb you sure makes you walk by the book. Or maybe Joyce is slowly starting to rub off on me. Ah, the, um, romance novel section. No wonder he didn't ask for help. Well, we're not supposed to directly watch our customers, but we have to make sure they're not acting suspiciously. Alright, noted. Hello. Looks like it'll be a busy day. Welcome to Card Over Books. How can I help you? I'm looking for a gift for someone. Sure, could you tell me a bit about what they like? Hmm, well okay, it's not exactly a gift for someone. Rather, it's something I'll buy for myself because I don't think my boyfriend will give me the right book. Wouldn't it be easier to just tell him exactly which one you want? Yes, I know, but he doesn't listen. It's been like that for years, so I'm just doing this now. Okay, then what book are you looking for? Is that new young adult book everybody's been talking about? Dying Wishes, was it? Ah, yes. Kind of tragic, that one. It's been selling pretty well, but I think we have a good amount of copies left. Do you read young adult books often? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. I just don't see too many people our age buying them. Well, I like them. I didn't mean to judge. I just found it interesting. Phoenix, could you get a copy of that book, please? It's back there next to the romance section. Alright. So what exactly is it that interests you in this book? It sounds interesting. Hmm, okay. I just didn't understand the hype. Well, it's heartfelt, tragic, and the romance sounds pretty sweet. But you know from the beginning that one of them is going to die. Yes, that's what makes it so tragic. Oh, for a second I thought I spoiled it for her. I was about to be like, Kaimi, what the fuck, man? I'm back. Here's the book. Is there anything else I can help you with, or is that all? That's all. Thanks. Okay, that'll be $11.99 then. Thank you. If only it was this easy with my boyfriend. No problem, please come again. Is it always like this? Usually. The customers aren't always as agreeable, though. Excuse me, I think I would like to ask for your help after all. Sure, what can I help you with? It's my girlfriend's birthday, but I can't seem to find the book she wants. What is it about? I think it's a romance book, but I have a hard time remembering all the specifics. She said something about a terminally ill teenager who gets caught up in some bittersweet romance. But if I remember correctly, she also mentioned something about sports and family issues. And apparently it also deals with loss and the fear of regret. So it can't just be about that totally ill guy, right? Not sure if that's all part of the same book. Honestly, it seems kind of all over the place if you ask me. Maybe I'm mixing it up with some other books she's talking about. Hmm, I think there are multiple books that would fit those descriptions. Although frankly, I haven't read all of, all of them myself, so I can't... So I can only go by their summaries and what I've heard about them. I think you should try... Oh god, this is her boyfriend, ain't it? 
dying wishes. This one would fit the Tormali L teeny team part of your description. Not sure about the rest, but I think you're good to go with this one. Ah, uh, this might be the one. I think the cover looks familiar. Thank you. I'm really bad at remembering names, so it's always a struggle to find the right book for her. Have you tried writing the names down? Yes, but then I always forget where I put the note. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? No thanks, this is all I need. Alright, that'll be eleven ninety nine then. Thanks for your patronage, please come again. Guess that's it for now? Do you think those two are a couple? What? I mean, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it makes it would make sense based on what they told us, wouldn't it? If that's the case, you'll have two copies of the book now. But at least he got it right this time. True. Boss, we're taking our break now. Ooh, break time. May drink some coffee while I'm on my break. The rest of my chef is pretty much as usual. Well, I had Phoenix watching my every move, but I got used to that pretty quickly. Phoenix is pretty quiet after all. Well, most of the time. Eventually, my shift ended and I was getting ready to leave. Wait, Kaimi? Before you go, I thought we could maybe celebrate Phoenix's starting here with some cake. I just bought one at the bakery next door. Martha said it's an, it's an exciting new recipe the apprentice proposed. But you don't have to stay if you're busy. I just thought it would be nice to have the team together for a bit after work. And after going out of your way, you can ma you maybe see it as a reward of sorts. Yes, thanks for helping me out today. Do I stay for cake? Of course! Abatai. Sure, I'll stay. Great, can you get us some drinks from the staff room? I'll prepare the cake while you're gone. Alright, any wishes? We only have water, Kaimi. Alright. I'll help you. Thanks. Aw, I hope watching me walk was helpful. Yes, it was. Thanks again. No problems, my job after all. Well, part of it at least. Ah, that'll do. Thanks, you two. I heard there's cake. Ah, hey, Snow. Didn't see you around today. I'm here more often than, than you, Kaimi. And yet, you don't work here. I'm underage. Oh, are you the reason we're having cake? I suppose. Nice to meet you. I'm Phoenix. Snow. I hang out here to read most of the time. Sometimes I have to help out, though. Feel free to join us, Snow. There's more than enough for four people. Sweet. Ah, Snow's a little bit. Oh my god, look at him! He's a little baby! And so we ate cake while indulging in only temporarily awkward small talk. Maybe I misjudged Phoenix. I'm not so much that Phoenix is awkward, rather than just a little aloof. Not in a cold way though, I'm taking a photo of that. Photo! But I'm not sure if I'll get close to her anytime soon. It's strange. I don't think I had a welcome party like this. Or rather, I don't think we had cake. Miss Carnival bought me a cup of coffee on my first day. But I think this is nice. Even if it's only temporary, think doing like things like this, if I can read English, maybe, does make you feel more like a team. Well, Snow is basically part of the team too, even if they don't technically walk here. Occasionally, we were interrupted by customers coming in. When the other part-timers were busy, we took turns taking care of them, even though technically our shift already ended. Miss Carnover called it a good opportunity to show Phoenix what she learned today. Did I at least get extra pay? By the time we finally left the shop to, to, go, our own, to go our way, it was already late afternoon. I think I won't mind having another person at the bookstore. It will probably be more relaxed if you don't have to do everything yourself. Nice! Welcome home, Kaimi! How was work? Good, we had a new part-timer. I showed her how to work at the bookstore. Ooh, it must feel nice to take some responsibility at work. Well, I suppose. Do you have any plans for today? No, but I'm pretty tired. I think I'll just read for a bit and go to bed early. Alright, if I can help you in any way, please tell me. Yes, you don't have to tell me every time. Sorry, it's a habit of mine. Ah. And so I spent the rest of the day reading. I occasionally talked to Joyce, but even while eating dinner, I didn't really let go of the book. During the moments I didn't indulge myself in the story, I was thinking back to work. A new part-timer, huh? I don't really know her, and as cold as it sounds, 
If this is only temporary for Phoenix, I wonder if it's worth getting close to her. But I guess there's no harm in it. And I wasn't this... And I wasn't this also just temporary for me when I started working at the bookstore? We'll see. I don't even know how often we'll be working together. In any case, the evening range... The evening rang out without any major events. I didn't work on art, but I think I needed to take the day off. There's no point in overworking yourself. And just relaxing every once in a while is pretty nice too. Aww. Ooh, Friday, March 10th, noon. Y'all, we're gonna save right here. Yes. Go my main menu. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This was... Ooh, big stretch. Hold on. Ah! Oh my goodness, my arm. My arm popped. That felt so nice. Bye, guys. That's, I'm gonna end the uh, video off there. Thank you all so, so very much for watching and hanging out with me today. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It's free, after all. I just occasionally punch the mic every now and then, but that's fine. And I will see you guys hopefully next time. Bye-bye.